All right. Wow. That's me. <laughs> uh, hello, everybody. I am indeed Zach. I am the co-founder of Coordinate. And I'm going to share with you a little bit about uh, what it is, how it works, and why it's useful for on-chain, uh, online communities to collaborate. So a little bit uh, about my background. Um, I spent 10 years uh, as the co-founder of Converge. And Converge is a consultancy that helped to launch social and environmental impact networks all over the world. So I spent the last 10 years really steeped in both theory and especially practice of networks and network leadership and how does collaboration actually work among, among multi-stakeholders. And um, when I discovered a couple of years ago, I discovered DAOs, and it was like, wow, OK, here's some infrastructure and technology that allows global peer-to-peer -peer collaboration. And so uh, I got obsessed, and I was all in on that. Um, and, and that's really what, what led me to start Coordinate. And the three things I want to share are, are the factors that we saw across all these different global networks, all different contexts of people trying to work together. There were three things, right? And they are, they are, uh, <laughs> the three things are uh, appreciation, right? Really appreciating what people are doing, information flow, understanding what we're working on, and then finally reward. And so how are we rewarding people and being reciprocal for what the, the value they put in and the value that they get out? So Coordinate started inside of Yearn Finance, which is uh, a decentralized finance DAO. And they were trying to solve this problem of lots of collaborators and lots of contributors coming and doing great stuff. And how do, we, how do we allocate and reward them and appreciate them for what they're doing in a decentralized way, right? So we don't have a grant committee trying to decide who should get what. Um, as we developed Coordinate Inside Yearn, other DAOs started to get interested and, and also wanted to, to use it. And it eventually spun out. These are some of the DAOs that use us. We now have about 1,000 organizations and 40,000 registered users. Um, and recently, also exciting that companies totally outside of the Web3 crypto space. Uh, there's a company called iFood. They do food delivery in Brazil, a uh, billion dollars in revenue and 6,000 employees. And they're using Coordinate as a sort of a core pillar of their employee engagement platform. So how does Coordinate work? It's organized by circles. And essentially, you have one circle that's the big organization and then smaller circles for projects or teams that are populated from members of the larger organization. So you could have a one-off project, like putting on a conference, or you could have ongoing projects, like you're building a, a platform or a protocol. And there's uh, different ways to be added to these circles. You can either be added by an admin. You can also be vouched in by other members. Or you can gate these with only people who have a certain POAP or token or NFT. So you could start an organization and say only people who have the network state NFT that we got earlier this morning are allowed to join. Right? So the three things, information and appreciation and reward. This is information. So this is the activity feed. And basically, users come in, and they input and share what they've been working on so that other people that are working on that same project can see, can have context on on what are you doing, what's happening, how can we might collaborate, right? Um, and then there's the give circle, right? So by default, each person has 100 give in the circle that they can allocate to other people according to the value that they've seen them add to a project. So as I'm working with people and I see the awesome work that they're doing and I want to appreciate them for it, I can allocate give. I can go and review and see all the different contributions they've made. I can react to them. And I can leave a note, right? And this is really important. I can tell them, hey, here's why I appreciate what you're doing. Here's why it's great. Um, so overall, we've had over 41 million give allocated so far uh, across the system. And appreciation, right? This is so critical. So these are just a few treats that illustrate how important this appreciation part is. And this is especially true when we're collaborating online and collaborating asynchronously and remotely. It can feel isolating and transactional. So really taking that time 
to appreciate and acknowledge the contributions that people have made go a really long, a long way into making people feel connected to a project. We've designed Coordinate entirely around this principle of appreciation and acknowledgement because of these three things, it's the one that oftentimes gets overlooked or gets forgotten. Uh, there have been over 62,000 notes sent across since we started, and that's by far my favorite me metric because it really shows the kind of good vibes that have been flowing. Um, so reward, right, compensation. So when used for compensation, Coordinate essentially distributes a budget according to the number of give that people have received, right? So if I get 20% of the total give, I get 20% of the total budget. Uh, and you can use this um, on-chain. So for example, you can have a budget of some token in the circle, and when there, it's complete, it gets distributed, and people can come claim it from our vaults. Or you can use any number of methods to distribute uh, compensation and payment off-chain as well. Uh, so the other kind of reward that we saw increasingly people get interested in is not just compensation for money, but reputation. Right? They want to be able to, to show the projects they've been a part of and have a record of their work. So we created this, which is called COSOL. And this takes your give on chain. So you actually have a verifiable record of the projects you've been working on and the, the value that you've added to them. So it's one thing to say, oh yeah, I was a contributor at XYZ project. It's a much different thing to be able to say, I was a contributor and here's the value that I, I added as attested to by my peers that I worked with. So a big part of our roadmap is actually expanding this COSOL to incorporate all sorts of different kind of data and have really an on-chain reputational metric that will, we hope, evolve into sort of like a, a Web3 LinkedIn where you can find and vet projects and collaborators. Uh, we've had 28,000 of these minted so far and encourage you all to uh, mint your own as well. So this is a map that shows the flow of give between a network so that you have transparency and you can understand who's giving to who and then you can click in and start to understand what are these people working on, what are they doing. And we're also planning to add lots of different data to this as well so that you really have a robust map and can understand your entire project and what people are working on and how they're collaborating together. So, what does this mean for a network state? Right? Well, if you're starting a network state and, or any kind of online project, you're going to be attracting people who are really excited about your idea. And you're also going to be attracting all sorts of the kind of people that live out there online, like trolls and scammers and people like this. And so through Coordinate, you can actually grant access to your project according to the people who the community says are adding value, right? So you can progressively grant voting rights or different kinds of powers and privileges in your project according to the, the voice of the community and who they're saying, hey, that person's doing something awesome. We should put more resources there, right? It's really a way to keep your borders of your project open and without a gatekeeper but also be able to quickly filter out a lot of the noise that comes from any online project, right? And so the, the idea is that really you can create hierarchies of leadership that are based on contribution and recognition from the community and not just a sort of a rigid pyramid structure, right? We, see, we say in, in an ideal network, we used to say the leader is the one who knows what to do next. And so this is really a way to tap into that collective intelligence and let the community show who's adding value and who can rise to the different challenges that you face as your, as your project evolves. So whatever you're working on, whatever you're collaborating on, remember that the people you're working with want to have information. Now I'll get it. <laughs> they want information, appreciation, and reward, right? And of these things, appreciation is often the most important and most overlooked. So whatever you're working on, make sure you show a lot of love and thanks to the people that you're collaborating with.